Hello gamers! Welcome back to another Swiss 01 video. And today, I'm in France. To be precise, I'm in the south of France. I'm at Nice Airport. It's probably nice, I don't know. And we are here for a reason. Today, we're gonna talk about a French plane, which was one of the first jet airliners. As you can see, this plane has running jet engines. This plane is called the SE-210 Caravel. It came out in the 1950s. So yes, it was actually one of the first planes that had jet engines and also was slightly successful actually compared to the other jet airliners that came out in the 1940s like the coma jet it was not successful at all but this one was slightly successful you know air france used it swiss air actually also used it and finnair and there was never a really hard crash oh never mind holy moly yeah right now i'm scrolling to wikipedia <laughs> and it's such a long list okay never mind jesus christ so yeah, this plane did crash a lot, but that was probably kind of usual back in the 1950s. But anyway, but I mean, this this plane is, is, is all right. It looks okay, I guess. It's a short to medium haul airliner, obviously, as you can tell. And the windshield design is kind of weird, to be honest. You know, this is what it looks like. We have <laughs> some instruments. Actually, this plane is surprisingly simple for the times. We only have a small overhead panel that doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I mean, this is quite an old add-on aircraft as well. I don't know if it's super realistic, but it does seem to be enough to operate this aircraft. So that's good, I guess. We have people in the cockpit. Oh, uh oh. So this is our pilot. And here we have another guy just doing some stuff. I don't know. Let's take a look into the cabin. What does it look like in there? Press the open door. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, no. Okay. So we have this thing called flight attendant. What happens when we press that one? Oh my goodness. Okay, call her again. What the hell? Okay, so we have someone working on his laptop. In fact, he's only pressing one key. <laughs> Jesus Christ, how do you mess up such a face? Something that is a bit weird is the window shape. I haven't noticed that on the outside, actually. That's interesting. And what is in the back of the plane? Wow, we have a door like that. We have only seen that on the MD-80 before, so that's cool. All right, let's uh, get the door back up and let's go ahead and fly, shall we? Let's just take off. Oh my god, that is loud. That kind of sounds like a fighter jet. All right, we're going 120 knots, Rotate. That was close to a tail strike. Oh, those engines are so loud. Jesus Christ. But we have taken off. That's all what counts. What does that do? Oh, no. We might have just killed one engine. Uh... Hell, what do these levers do? I don't even know. But I mean, this plane flies. Probably needs a lot of fuel, I can imagine. Look at that. Look at that smoke coming out of there. Oh. We might have just crashed. This might have just happened. Um, uh, well, oopsies. So this is a short to medium haul aircraft. So it should be able to land on an aircraft carrier. Okay, let's put the gear out. Oh, that was a missile. Yeah, some fighter jets are actually trying to shoot us. We're stalling out. We're stalling out. Oh, that was another missile. Let's go and land on the aircraft carrier. I'm not really comfortable with what they're doing right now. Butter time. Right, we have touched it down. Let's see how fast we can stop this. <coughs> not fast enough. And what is this fighter jet doing? Jesus Christ, you're a fighter jet. You're supposed to fly. Yeah, that's a very sad death, actually. <laughs> no. All right, so now we are in Montpellier. And we have another fighter jet. We should probably turn AI traffic off because that is giving me some hard FPS. As you can tell, we have some lakes here right in front of the ocean. All right, it's rotate time. That was almost a tail strike. Well, um, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. All right, so we are at another airport. Um, what the hell is that? Let's go ahead and take off. Yes, we're flying in a storm now. Probably not too good. Ouch. We're having some kind of issues. What's going on, man? Oh, man, what the hell are you doing? That's kind of sad. Light attendant, please take care of the passengers while we evacuate. Thank you. Please all use the back door to exit the aircraft. Thank you. Now, as always, we're gonna have to do the Saint Barthelemy test. Let's go ahead and take off from this runway. Get some flaps going, full power. Oh no, this thing is not gaining enough speed. 
Come on, even the 737 is able to take off from here. That was an overrun, definitely. Uh-oh, let's not crash into that mountain. <laughs> that is way too close. But okay, this takeoff was successful, I guess. But now, let's try if we can also land. That was a crash. Oh, flap over speed. That's going to lead to a crash. So part of the wing just fell off. This is why we have to fight against that. I'm not really comfortable. Also, we have to land on the super short runway. Uh oh, Jesus. Oh no, we're going to die. Oh no. Okay, let's try to stop at least. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Oh no, no. Poor people on the beach. And we have not stopped. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, that was not my proudest landing, I guess. Boom, boom. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.